person passed out next year, we're what now? Nine days away from Christmas? Nine days away from Christmas. Two days from Hanukkah. 61 until Valentine's Day. We're uh, on a quick show of hands. How many of you are completely finished with your holiday shopping right now? Oh. oh. <laughs> Monster, sick individuals is what you are. Tomorrow, uh, tonight rather, is a big night at the movies. The long-awaited sequel, Avatar, The Way of Water, is out. It is by far the most expensive movie ever made. They say Avatar has to make $2 billion just to break even. Even Elon Musk was like, you guys overpaid for this. <laughs> there is a plan. They're saying if the movie doesn't start uh, breaking even by March, producers are going to send a Terminator back in time to um, kill James Cameron's mother. And <laughs> meanwhile, the one Terminator, Donald Trump announced yesterday, He'd be making a major announcement today, which got everybody going. It's like, what's he going to do? Is he backing out of the race? Is he suing the Statue of Liberty? Who knows? <laughs> and there was a lot of speculations on, online. Some thought he, maybe he was returning to Twitter or releasing the files on JFK or endorsing Ron DeSantis, choosing a running mate, starting his own political party, running for Speaker of the House. Well, it turned out to be none of those things. Trump's major announcement was this. Hello, everyone. This is Donald Trump, hopefully your favorite president of all time, better than Lincoln, better than Washington. Hornier than Kennedy, <laughs> fatter than Taft, you name it. An important announcement to make. I'm doing my first official Donald J. Trump NFT collection right here and right now. They're called Trump Digital Trading Cards. These cards feature some of the really incredible artwork pertaining to my life and my career. It's been very exciting. You can collect your Trump digital cards, just like a baseball card or other collectibles. Trading cards. <laughs> and not even real trading cards, digital trading cards, which is another way of saying nothing. At least last time you got a red hat, now he's selling you nothing. It's literally cards against humanity. Here's one of the best parts. Each card comes with an automatic chance to win amazing prizes, like dinner with me. I don't know if that's an amazing prize, but it's what we have. I'm also doing Zoom calls, a one-on-one -on -one meeting, autographing memorabilia, and so much more. We're doing a lot. We're doing a lot. I can see that. Did you know you used to be president of the United States? <laughs> it's true. My official Trump digital trading cards are $99, which doesn't sound like very much for what you're getting. Yes, it does. And um, <laughs> seems like $99 too much, actually. Buy one and you will join a very exclusive community. Of the dumbest and most gullible Americans ever to walk the planet Earth. But I mean, but wait, Mr. President, how can I get, how, what do I need to complete this once in a lifetime purchase? All you need is an email address. Go to collecttrumpcards.com and buy your Trump digital trading cards right now before they are all gone and they will be gone. <laughs> can you be gone too? Because... And remember, Christmas is coming and this makes a great Christmas gift. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited. Oh, look at this. It's like QAnon meets QVC. It really is. <laughs> I know we say this is crazy a lot, but this is crazy. He's selling NFTs like a crypto bro or so while he's running for president. And by the way, we already have Donald Trump trading cards. They're called subpoenas. Uh, <laughs> you know, the timing, too, is it's astonishing. It's like three days after that FTX guy got arrested for fraud, Trump said, now is the time to get into the imaginary baseball card market. And these, <laughs> let's go through, through some of these cards because, and before we do, I cannot stress strongly enough, we did not create or alter any of these in any way. So this is what the monkey brain's selling. <laughs> Sheriff Hunter Trump NFT, hotshot Hollywood Trump, <laughs> Trump's head glued on a football player in a suit Trump, two uh, thumbs up badass in front of the urinal Trump, <laughs> With ketchup in his eye, I think. Uh, tuxedo Trump. Do you think he knows that's not his body? Do you think they're like, you look great. With some... They're incredible. I think we have another one. Uh, old gay man on the moon. It's uh, really, and there are dozens more. This was his major announcement. He met someone who does Photoshop. That was his announcement. This has to be the most pathetic announcement of all time. And that includes when they announced Eric was born. <laughs> Even Trump's bootleg lickers at Newsmax were underwhelmed by Trump's announcement. 
Uh, that is his major announcement. Many thought it would be political. Many thought it would be about maybe uh, creating a new party. I mean, there was so much speculation on this. Uh, but it's not that. It's a digital trading card. Yep. <laughs> Only 11 months after the NFT craze, it's an NFT. As in, no effing thanks, Donald. <laughs> but, what a maroon. Meanwhile, in Washington last night, they unveiled the official portrait of outgoing Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi. Christmas gift to all of you and Nude Guillermo. <laughs> you can be streaker of the house, you know? Yeah. <laughs> this weekend, oh, this is, now this is a major announcement. Uh, in college football, Washington State takes on Fresno State in the second annual Jimmy Kimmel LA Bowl on Saturday. <laughs> Last night, we had the, um, the Bulldogs from Fresno State with us. Tonight, we're hosting the players from Washington State. The Cougars are in the building right now. <laughs> Looking group of kids. Now, guys, I want to ask about your logo. I'm going to put that up on the screen right now, and I would like to tell me, is this supposed to be a cougar? Because it, no offense, but it looks like um, either a snail or a penis got slammed in a car door. <laughs> uh oh, I think I've angered the team. Uh, all right, you know what I want to do now? I want to give each player a, a chance to say his name and position, but we don't have time to do it individually like they do at the game, so I want you to say all your names and positions at once, okay? <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> very good, I mean, I, it's very efficient. And it's like watching The View. All right, uh, good luck. Hey, if you want to join us at the game on Saturday, go to LABowlGame.com. It's the Jimmy Kimmel LA Bowl presented by Stiefel. Guillermo will be there. Cousin Sal will be there. Our mascot, Jimmy Camel, will be there, vomiting on the kids. Everyone is invited, so come. And speaking of kids, not only is it the holiday season, it is flu, RSV, and COVID season, and to celebrate, it's time for one of our favorite holiday traditions. This is a game. We're going to all play it together. It's very simple. I will show you a photograph of a screaming child. You have to guess if that child is on Santa's lap or getting an inoculation, OK? All right, let's play Santa's lap or booster shot. Number one. All right, Santa's lap or getting a booster shot. Everyone says Santa, and it is Santa. That's correct. Lap or booster shot? Booster. All right, the audience says booster. That is another one. All right, here we go. This little girl is on a lap or being vaxxed. Booster, you say, and she is? Oh, that's this one. <laughs> Our next child in distress, Santa or COVID? All right, we have a mix on this one. It is booster shot. A very unwanted booster shot. Next. <laughs> Santa or shot? Santa. Santa is, in, is correct. Now, how about this little girl? Santa. And again, we're mixed on this one. This is, uh, oh, wow. That's an in-house Santa. That's an unhappy kid. Uh, next, we have, oh, this kid looks happy. All right, well, Santa or Booster? Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, we have uh, Santa's lap, but I'd like to point out that it... And one more traumatized child. <laughs> Santa's lap or Booster shot? All right, and you're mixed, and you're right. He's got, it's both. Thanks for playing, and a happy disease season to one and all. And one more thing before we steam ahead. We have another year coming to a close, and what we've done is we've put together the finest TV moments that we bleeped and blurred, whether they needed it or not. It is this year in unnecessary censorship for 2024. As you begin your last 
great journey to join my dear late papa, I want simply to say this. I'm worried about COVID. I'm worried about the bird flu. Now I have to be worried about dicks. Some creepy. Dicks no, dicks, you're going to dicks. Yeah. I thought you were talking about that dick. <laughs> that guy is the dick right there. When a horse gets <laughs> in the you have to actually push his <laughs> and help each stride. You're helping him as he's getting I <laughs> the guy. Nick Begage is his name. I <laughs> him three times. I had a story the other day that I wanted to <laughs> my daughter Ivanka. That didn't happen. <laughs> I felt really comfortable just having you come into my ass, you know? I mean, you seem like a really good guy. I want you all to know that I was born with a little I know today is National Name Your Day. Really? Mine was Tinkerbell. Uh, <laughs> just give me a big loaded up so I can hardly get my mouth around it. Boy, that's what I like. <laughs> he just says, I have come in my mouth. And then he says a second later, it's gone. <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> Weird. When my lead agent, Tim Gables, came in, I stuck my finger in his <laughs> and said, you're not <laughs> me. The Army Corps engineer says that if somebody comes to your door asking for money, a signature, or to come inside your <laughs> steer clear, that is a red flag. My name is J.R. Majewski, and my pronouns are patriot and ass <laughs> We should all agree the answer is not to defund the police, it's to fuck the police.